Wow. Okay. Caught one on the Whopper Plopper. We've never really had much luck here on top water before. But hey, we got one on the top water. Just hit it. Hit it right by the moving water over there. It was a pretty good fighter too, despite his size. And still kind of has a little bit of a bloody tail. Let's go, first fish of the day. That was pretty quick too. All right, buddy. Thank you. So guys, I haven't even filmed an intro yet. I kind of have a bad habit of that. I rush out to fish the pond before I even film an intro. But I'm doing that right now. And we just caught a fish on top water. Over here in this little corner of the pond by this, wouldn't say a waterfall, but there's a bunch of moving water. And I casted right in the middle of it. And that's where we caught that fish on the whopper plopper. I had a pretty good top water day not too long ago. Just a few days ago, I had some pretty good blow ups on some top water baits. We're gonna see if we can try to replicate that pattern today, a couple days later. Um, like I said, haven't filmed an intro yet. That was probably my fifth cast. And that was a decent, probably one and a half pounder. I'll take that fish any day. Let's see if we can try to get something a little bit bigger. And I will see you guys back on the chest mount with the Whopper Plopper. Let's do it. That makes me a little bit optimistic about this Whopper Plopper too. So he, that fish hit that pretty hard. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the bank with the Whopper Plopper. And then if we don't catch anything, we'll switch to the Chatterbait. And then if we don't do anything, if we don't catch anything, we may switch to a Texas rig or a drop shot or something. And then we'll go fish some different stuff. We're not gonna try to fish here for too long because we have fished this pond a bunch and we know if the bite's gonna be really on one day or if if it's gonna be a slow day, pretty quick into fishing. But let's get to covering this bank with this whopper plopper and see if we can catch a few more. There we go. That's a pretty decent one. There we go, boys. That's what I'm talking about. First fish on the new Corrado. You think he wanted it? You think he wanted it or what? Got him in the tongue, so he's gonna bleed a little. Let's go get some pliers. There we go. That's a solid fish. He's a little skinny. Let's get a weight on him just for curiosity. He is bleeding, so I want to hurry. 1.58 kilograms. That's a three pounder, guys. That is a three pounder. All right, let's let this fish go because he is bleeding. All right, there he goes. He's ready. There he goes. I don't know if y'all can see him, but he's slowly swimming off. 1.58 kilograms. Let's see what that is. I don't know why my scale is stuck in kilograms, but it is. 3.48. So almost a three and a half. Let's go. Let's go get some more, boys. I've said this in uh, a video in the past, 
that when you hook a fish in the tongue, they do tend to bleed. It's not because the fish is hurt or anything like that. It's just a little weak spot they have on their tongue. I don't know why that is, but they bleed more when you hook them on the tongue than if you hook them like in the roof of the mouth. I obviously never want to hook a fish in the tongue. I always want to get them in the roof of the mouth. But that one, unfortunately, was hooked in the tongue, but he did swim off. He was bleeding, but he did swim off, um, and that has happened before, and the fish tend to be just fine. So he'll be all right. Just hooked him in the tongue. Just a little weak spot, but let's go get some more. And that is also the first fish on my brand new Corrado K, three and a half pounder. Hey, I will take that any day. Let's get some more. Moved to a new pond. And uh, I forgot to hit the record button. Because I'm a little bit stupid. But that's a pretty decent fish. Look how fat that thing is. Look at that belly. <laughs> that was literally my first cast. Have not taken one cast yet today. Or here. <laughs> oh, oh. Do you have a bite? Yeah. Maybe they're stacked right there. All right. See ya, pal. Guys, even that fish was a little bit hard to land, and he was probably only two pounds. So you can imagine if I hook another six pounder here, it's not gonna be easy. But let's, let's hook a six pounder anyways. Wow, I saw that one happen. He came up, I was reeling my jig in, I was burning it in and he came out and just hit it. All right, buddy, I'm gonna get you back. You just gonna jump this? Yeah. I don't even know if I'm like to get in the water. I could just like get on this side and just reach down. Yeah. Sure That's what I'm thing. saying. Like, if you were over here, like if you were fishing like right over here when I hooked that big fish, we would have caught him. Yeah. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm just saying like, just I don't know. There's just donkeys in this pond, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. When I was at Unity on Sunday, there was a kid there. And he came up to me and he was like, yeah, there's a big fish in there. I caught a seven pound, eight ounce bass on a hot dog. No, he did not out of Unity Park. What did he say? He said he caught six, multiple six pound bass out of there. No shot, dude. He said, did he? Like, he's 11, so he's at that age where he could be lying, but I don't know. On, all on hot dogs. On, on hot dogs is cop water. <laughs> I know that kid's <laughs> lie, bro. <laughs> he was fishing with cheese. Get a cheese stick and he, <laughs> and he got a hot dog on a cheese stick. What? Um, yeah. I catch seven pound bass. Oh, what bait? Hot dogs. There's no way he's catching sixes and sevens on hot dogs and top waters at Unity. Yeah, and it was like he was using it upside down right no uh, it was like there was like three holes and then like half half to the other one and it was broken off and he's using a weightless cheese oh. weightless cheese <laughs> oh my gosh Another little guy on, on the jig and he fell down. 
Another little guy on the jig. Get him back. Just casting right by this drop off. There's a little drop off like probably six or seven feet in front of us. And I think these fish are, are stacked on that drop off. That's how it was last time we were here when I lost that giant bass, which was in the last video, which I can leave the link for that video in the description if you want to watch it, if you haven't. There's another one. That's a little better one too. Another, another fatso, another butterfall. These fish are, I don't know why, but these fish are just so fat right now. Like all of them are pretty fat fish. That's not a bad one either. Get them undone. All right, Let's see you, buddy. There we go. Another one on the jig. I don't know if this was the same fish that I missed, but there was a fish right over there that I missed like four or five times, but I let him eat it this time so I wouldn't miss him. Another really fat fish too. All right, let's get him unhooked and get him back in. See you, man. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a nice one. No, actually, I think it is the same thing. Well, that is a fat cell. You sure you don't want to weigh him? That's exactly where he was hooked. That's where I hooked him. Yeah, it's probably what, three? Yeah, probably. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good fish. The red mark right there? Yeah, right That's funny. Got yours because yours is in pounds. Maybe. Yep. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, 2.88. Right under three pounds. It's the best fish we've caught out of here, though, today. Probably that. Put them back in the other pond. Well, we are back at the house now, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We had a pretty solid numbers day today. Um, we got on a couple that were pretty good size, including Jackson's uh, almost three pounder and my three and a half on the Bandito bug. It was also good to get some bites um, at some ponds that we have fished before, so that we know that those ponds are still producing fish and still have bitey fish as well. Briefly, I wanna talk about the two techniques that got it done today. The jig and Texas rig are what really put them away today and got the meat in the locker. One surprising thing about all the fish that we caught today for the most part, were that they were all fat, except for the one three, three and a half that I did catch. That was a really skinny one. But the rest of the ones that we caught, and especially the ones at the second pond, those were some fat fish. That tells me that these fish are still hungry and they're still eating despite the post-bond conditions. With that being said, that'll be it for the video this week. And drop a comment down below on video ideas that you want to see me film. Whether it's challenges or catch and cooks, just drop a comment and I will be sure to get back to you. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time, peace.